Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and this is a really quick tutorial on how to set up a Godot project in GitHub. This was a request by Mathis. He was wanting to know how to do this. He sent the request in on my Discord server, which feel free to join, self-plug real quick there. But um, he was wanting to know how to set this up. I've, I use GitHub myself on the video game I'm making, so that way I can coordinate efforts with another person and work on the same stuff, as well as have version control in case we really mess up really bad. So. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. I'm going to try to do it in one cut, but I would recommend definitely looking up other tutorials on how to use GitHub um, or just GitHub resources because I'm really showing you the basics on setting up a Godot project in GitHub and there's a whole lot more to GitHub than that. So first thing you want to do is definitely to set up a, an account with GitHub, otherwise you won't really be able to do very much, and also download the GitHub desktop and this will just make it a whole lot easier to to push and pull the, the different versions that you create and different add-ons, I guess. I don't even know the right verbiage to use. But, um, so do all that first. Once you create an account, you're gonna see something like this, and all you have to do is hit the new button and it will create a new repository. Once you've hit the new button, just create your repository name. I'm gonna call this one GitHub Tutorial. Okay, and then, um, you can add a description, you can put whatever you want here, uh, literally in this case, and then just create your repository, you know, read through these things, add what you want, what you don't want. This is the location for um, where it is on GitHub. And what you want to do is upload an existing file. We haven't actually created the file yet because we want it to be a GitHub file. So, or not, not a GitHub file, a Godot file. So in Godot, just create a new project name it what you want. I'm going to name it uh, the same thing, GitHub tutor, if I could spell, tutorial. And um, let's see, this is where it's going to be located in your file system. And you can leave that how it is, just like that. So create the folder and create and edit. So all we needed to do is really just to create that folder. So we don't even need um, to do anything in here yet. So now that we've created the folder, upload an existing file and we'll be able to just pop it in here. Here it is already. I have it ready to go. Look how prepared I am. I've only filmed this like four times trying to get it right. So we can add notes if we want, but we're just going to commit the changes. And once that's done, we have it here now, a version of it, I suppose, now on the website. So now we want a version that we can change and update. So we're going to clone and download. We can't use the same one that we made, but this is where you want GitHub Desktop. So clone and download, open GitHub Desktop. Here's the location on the website, and here's the location that it will be on your computer um, for when you make changes and want that to update on the website. So we're going to clone that now. Okay, and there's no changes. We've just barely created it. But here's the issue that you might run into. So this is not that same location. In fact, we don't even need this anymore. So we're going to delete it. We just created it simply to have a file to upload to, to GitHub. And I'm sure there's even other ways to do this. I don't even know if this is the best way, but hey, it works for me. So um, we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to scan for a new project, go into the GitHub folder. And there is the one that we actually want. Select current folder. Voila. So now if we were to change something in here in the correct file path, correct location, let's make a new scene. Um, we're going to just save that real quick. So now we've made a change. We've added a new um, a new scene to the, to the thing. Let's close it. We don't even need to have it open anymore. Here we see we've added some more stuff. We've changed a couple things. So we can add a summary. And these are required to commit it. So let's say new scene added, and we can add a description of what we did, but I'm going to skip that. Commit to master, push to origin. All right. So now here on this thing, we can't see anything because we got to refresh it. But once we do, new scene added. So we've added a new scene, and if we were to um, open this, let's say someone else added the new scene. Um, we could just hit this button and it will it will um, reclone or, or take the whatever things have been added on. And there's a whole lot more to GitHub um, than just that. 
like I said, after this tutorial, I would go watch a whole bunch of other tutorials on other things that GitHub does because there's a lot more to it than just that. Thank you so much for the, for the suggestion of a video um, tutorial. If anybody else has any tutorials that they're hoping people would make, like really specific ones or just other things, feel free to, to uh, you know, ask me if, if I'll make them. And usually I do. Like I really try to um, do what I can to help you guys out. I really try to uh, have your back. So thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.